we are racing towards death. On this beautiful day, the president of the Maryland Watermen's Association is taking me to an oyster bed to see what nature has wrought. The stench alone tells you it's bad. That smell is rotten oysters, rotten shells decaying. Robert T. Brown has been farming the depths of the Lower Potomac at the Chesapeake Bay since he was 16, building his life and family on the bounty of oysters, rockfish, and blue crab. The months with an R famously mean oysters, but this year it meant rain, record rain. It's the largest amount of rain that's ever been recorded. I mean, how do you predict that? The Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries are brackish, a mixture of salt and fresh water. For oysters, the salinity level has to stay at 0.8% or higher, or they die. The heavy rains diluted it to 0.3% in some parts. Fresh water, that's what killed it. Hello, hello. How you doing? Bill Kalinske, head of the Charles County Watermen's Association, has worked with the state to plant more than 10 million baby oysters in a 13-acre bed in the Wicomico River. And they were thriving when winter arrived. And actually, these oysters were alive back in January and December. And then what happened? We had eight inches of rain, nine inches of rain in January and into February. And that, that just put the icing on the cake. That kind of wiped them out. That's not just money, but time. It takes four years of nursing that spat to adulthood and it's all gone. There's no income, no harvest, total destruction. So climate change doesn't just impact the food supply, it impacts economies. But not all oyster beds were affected. This bed farther downstream is farther from the runoff, so its pH is still balanced. The heavy rains could have a rippling effect on these waters all year. Come summer, nutrients washed into the bay from all the farms and the lawns may bring algae blooms. These red tides absorb oxygen in the water. That makes it hard for crabs to survive. Robert T. finds some hope in the white salty streaks that form from the mist as we head in. And he looks to the sky, praying for a summer that's hot and dry. You are your own boss next to Mother Nature. She rules it all and uh, we just gotta hope we get a break. Mm -hmm.